Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Five Minute Marvel. This one is a community created mod, so it is available in the Steam Workshop. Links in the description below. This one titled Five Minute Marvel Scripted by community creators Marcus Raven, Rudo, and Mr. McMello. As always with the Tabletop Simulator series, we're not going to go into the rules or an in-depth how to play, but instead focus on what uh, is scripted for you, and then what you, the users, will manage, maintain, and control on your own. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right in. Hey everyone, welcome to 5 Minute Marvel on Tabletop Simulator. I'm joined here by my table mate, so let's go ahead and jump in and take a quick look at, one, the components around the board and the table, and then uh, dive into how to use this particular mod. The, before I start, I guess let me preface this. <laughs> the great thing about this uh, specific mod, actually, is that they've got a really nice how to start section here, as well as all the way over here. So let me go ahead and uh, just zoom in really fast so you guys can see it. Mods that do this, I, I applaud. I, I think it's incredible, and thank you so much for, for putting this in here because it really helps the users be guided through the journey and better just to understand you know, what it is that they need to do and how to leverage uh, any scripting that's available. So with that, we've got the uh, heroes uh, cards available up here, rule book here, um, the script buttons over here, and the timer right over here. Other than that, you've got the individual play areas for the uh, players at the table and then you're ready to kind of dive in. Great thing about this one, guys, is that so much is done for you to kind of take the headache away from the game and, and really just make it overall uh, a bit more enjoyable for you. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and uh, see what that setup looks like. So we've got our, our timer right here. So to begin, as it even says right here, select the boss. So begin by selecting your difficulty, easy or hard. For demonstration purposes, let's obviously keep it at ease. And then we're going to click this, uh, let me zoom in a bit. We're going to click this select boss button. Bam, done. The first boss has now been laid out onto the table, right? Number two, select your hero. So each player go up to the top and then just kind of figure out which hero you want to pick. I guess <laughs> for me, uh, it would be... It's strange if I if I didn't choose Captain America, right? And then for my table mate, let's pick um I guess Mrs. Marvel, right? Or Ms. Marvel, I should say. There we go. Drop the cards right there in your hero section, and you're ready to go. Now, in accordance to the rules, press the start button. Okay. Clicking that start button now. What's gonna happen is it's gonna deal out the boss deck, or the dungeon deck, I should say your draw pile for the hero that you've selected. As you see here, we got the Miss Marvel uh, draw pile for my table mate and the Captain America draw pile for myself. Next, you're gonna flip the timer by pressing your F key on the timer here and then press go. From there, you're gonna press go anytime you've resolved the, uh, the, that particular boss battle, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Flip the timer and go. So the first boss is now out there and ready for use. They require one fist and three circuits. So between the players around the table, um, I don't have anything to contribute. Luckily, um, you know, my person here does have stuff to contribute. So they would put out their fist, their circuits, and we're, we're actually one circuit short. So uh, discard three cards to recover an injured hero. All heroes draw two cards. So. I'm gonna have my table mate discard their final three cards to leverage their power so that then all players may draw up uh, two cards. Oops. There we go. And I, I do need those two cards in hopes of a circuitry. And I didn't get a circuit. Uh, <laughs> so in this demonstration, I would quickly be dead. But let's go ahead and throw this out there and pretend it is a circuit card. So once you've done that, you're not going to do anything else, right? So you're just simply going to hit the go button again. It's going to clear anything that you've put into the play area and then draw back up to any missing number of cards that you need defaultly in your hand. I did not draw up anything because I'm over the uh, default hand limit. 
Next person takes two circuits. Okay, great. Got two circuits there and a shield. I will go ahead and make that contribution and then click go. Boom, done. So on and so forth. Everyone just keep contributing cards into this highlighted play area. And then when you've resolved it, continue to click go so that then the next uh, boss battle will continue to come out, right? One by one, just keep hitting it. So then once you get down into, say, like uh, the next card here is a crisis, you're going to have to resolve these crises as they happen and then just continue down into the, uh, the dungeon or, you know, beating these bosses until you've either uh, beat them or they've beat you. And that's it. The game is played over that five minute uh, timer and that's it. You know, you're kind of ready to go. So play the game as needed and um, that's it. This one really well done. But I got to say, though, that, um, you know, much like the game in real life, it's really helpful to kind of have a one player or person at the table sort of moderating, um, handling maybe the pausing of the timer because they can act a little bit quicker and, and things like that. So it does just, you know, kind of help out a little. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this, uh, this one. Uh, if you have any questions about this particular mod, please leave a comment down in the description below. I'm happy to help out. If you've enjoyed the content, um, you know, I really appreciate the support. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.